It is courage. It is loyalty. It is duty. Right? It is honor. You know, this ideal, a code. Why, why live life blindly when you can live it by a code? A set of moral values, right? Don't you think we'll die more complete? You know, people, they look at an entrepreneur, they look at, you know, like me, right? And they think that it's always been like that. You know, they, they forget that first I came from nothing. I'm a refugee. I came from, I slept, I slept with the rats in a refugee camp for over a year and a half. Nothing was given to me. My parents came here with absolutely nothing. No freedom, no country, nothing. I wasn't accepted. We segregate each other based on our, our cultures and our beliefs, right? And the thing was, I never wanted that. I mean, I never believed in hate in, in, in that way. So for me, when I started my entrepreneurship, I feel like being an Asian American and where I came from, I need to express my philosophies, my background, what made me who I am, what my mother, my stepfather, my uncle, what made me who I was, my wife, God, right? So when, when I think about that in the business sense, then wealth and all that is not going to make me happy. So in my business world now, I, I look at wealth and and in volume and sales, that's business. And that's gonna happen because my wife and I, we work extremely hard. And we're talented at what we do. But the thing is, that's, that's, that's that. But I look at success these days as fulfillment. Success in life to me is the imprint that you leave. You know, like, we're not gonna live forever, so you can't take your wealth with you. So when I, when I think about entrepreneurship, it's, it's just that, is what am I working for? And what I'm working for is fulfillment. But let me, let me explain to you, in the entrepreneur side, it's very hard, right? Because Lao Zhu said a journey of a thousand miles began with a single step. You know, in entrepreneurship, it's, it's just that. But the thing is, do you blindly step? So in entrepreneurship, you, you have to know who you are. You have to know what your brand represents, right? Who are you? Because the brand should represent everything you are. The Red Dragon. The Red Dragon was born out of war. The dragon. To become a dragon, the koi fish swims. He swims against the current of life, swimming upstream to the top of the mountain, swimming and sometimes the current's so strong he washes his back, yet he takes another, another path. And somehow he swims up to the mountain and it says that when this koi fish swims to the top of the mountain, as he crests, he becomes a dragon and that is enlightenment. So when I worked on myself, I realized that it's very Confucius, but we're not perfect. Right? And I worked on myself and I worked on myself. And in doing that, I, was, I had the energy to help others. Right? And I had the energy to believe in myself. You know, another thing is courage. Okay, so let's, let's talk about courage, right? You know, in the military, we talk about courage. Look, I've seen some of the most brave men in the world. I, I, I serve alongside them, heroes. That, that took a bullet for this country, that died for our freedoms, heroes. But the thing was when some of my peers, when they got out, they were not able to move past that energy. Look, it's a powerful energy. War, hate. You know, the thing is that when you get out of the military, were you brave enough? Do you have enough courage to believe in yourself? I, look, I've seen, I've seen commandos blow a door and go through that door as rounds are slinging at us. But do you have the courage to believe in yourself? And, and this is what I mean. If you only have $10,000 in your account, and you have no other job, 
are you willing to place that on the line for a belief, an image of who you want to be? That could be a product, that could be schooling. Are you willing to do that? And that takes courage, right? And let's just say when you start on this journey, how many people tell you? How many people tell you you're not going to make it? You're not going to make it. It's too hard of an industry. Who are you to be a brand? You know, I heard it all. Do you have the courage to believe in yourself? You know, and that's very hard being an entrepreneur because you, you do doubt yourself sometimes, but that's the thing is the Bushido code. It is courage. It is loyalty. It is duty, right? It is honor. So you could take a code and you can apply it to being an entrepreneur, you apply it to being a human, right? But for me, it was just that, discipline. Discipline that I learned in the military, you know, look, it, it was the small things. The first thing that I learned from the military was how to properly make a bed. 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle, properly tucked. How to make a bed. We're commandos. Well, I was wanting to be. But the thing is, what I realize now being an entrepreneur is that it's the small things. It's the small things. If a bed is not made, is that right or wrong? If the dishes is not washed, is that right or wrong? The answer is not right or wrong. It's what you perceive as a standard. What is your standard? You know? And when I was taught making a bed to standard, right? And, and how I apply it to the world today is you make your bed, you make it with pride, and you make it, right? And because that momentum, that momentum, that win, that small little victory, wash the dishes, that small little victory, getting up early, that small little victory, doing physical training, that small, it, it becomes habit. It becomes habit. So when you focus on the little things, it matters because those little things add up to something big and that applies to being an entrepreneur. You have to have discipline. You have to be willing to work harder than anybody else. Anybody else in the room, and I, I, I tell you, man, people don't see it, but look, I was up at two, three o'clock and for some days I didn't sleep. I doubted myself many times, you know, and um, Masashi Miyamoto had a rule in step by step, walk your journey of a thousand miles. As people doubt you, walk your journey of a thousand miles. As, as you doubt yourself, focus on what's important. It's not truth. It's the narrative that you're placing on yourself. It's not truth. Look at the intelligence. Look at the data, look at your discipline, look at, at your course of action based off of these intelligence, right? So in the Special Forces, where we had to go into a country and affect a mission, so let's say, you know, if we're going in to train this uh, FID force. So we go into that FID force, we train it. I don't just go there and train. Who is the element I'm training? Who are these people and what tribe did they come from? Are they pro whatever resistance? How did they communicate in this country? What is their terrain like? What is the ele uh, elevation? What is the humidity? How thick is the jungle? How soft is the floor? How educated are these people? How did they communicate? You understand all these different levels from terrain to physical infrastructure to technology to the human history. So you have to take all this data and then you have to dissect all that data in what pertains to you. Well, I'm, I'm working in this province while everything else is out. This is now your, your, your intelligence. I'm working within this region of people and then the intelligence go down further, right? So the same thing with business is you have to look at that, that broad industry. You know, let's just say the uh, filming industry. 
you know, you guys are in it. So who are the, the players that you guys look up to and what makes them good? What makes them good that you, that you took interest in their work, you see? It's not like you're copying them. What makes them good? Take what is useful. Disregard what isn't, Bruce Lee. You must be like water throughout your life. So don't be so rigid in your thoughts in business. You know, people ask me too, you know, what is your end state, man? You know, where, where do you want to go as an entrepreneur? Where's your end state? You know, my end state is not just being an entrepreneur. My end state is being a human being, right? And where I want to go is my final stages in this life. What, what did I give to this world? You know, as an artist, as an artist, what, what art did I paint in this world? Who did I lift up when they were down? You know, and the thing is that I, I think that we don't think like that. We think about, oh, if I, if I achieve this amount of wealth, success, and my house is this big, if I have drive this car that's successful, and then when they die, can you take all of that with you? Does it even matter? In your final moments in this lifetime, when you have to trade away this physical life, can you take all those materialistic things with you? No, but what you can take away is knowing that you helped so many people and that you lived your life. Yeah, maybe you made a lot of mistakes in your life, but you, you ended up being the person that you wanted to be because you worked every day at being that person. Not business, not just business. You can be a, yeah, you, that, that's a goal. But who was the person you wanted to be? You know, and being an entrepreneur, it's about being a leader. Being a leader. First, a leader needs to lead by example. He needs to be a man of action, not a man of talk. But I tell you what makes me a leader today as an entrepreneur is that I take the Bushido code of compassion. You know, I care about my workers. I care about my uh, customers. I care about my students. You know, when I travel around America teaching Budo and teaching these law enforcement, I care if they go home to their families. You know, in this world of violence, I care f about the innocent. And you know, instead of talking about how the world should be a kinder place, I realize that we sh it's our duty to help the innocent. So that's fulfilling, that's what I'm leaving. It's like a Zen garden. Right, and then you have the stones and you have the beautiful plants and you have the ripples around it. You know, you ever see the Japanese garden? So beautiful. It represents in one lifetime, how many ripples, how many people can you touch? What is your legacy that you're gonna leave behind that would better this world? Right, and that to me is being an entrepreneur. It allows me to, to do that. It allows me to be this person I want to be because being successful, being successful wealth-wise, it allows me the freedom I need to do what is really important to me and that's helping others. That was Tulam on the Bushido Code. Today's video was sponsored by Mulligamurras.com, the best motivational clothing brand in the world, where you can now get the Rise and Grind series and the hardest worker in the room, hoodie tanks, all linked in the description, where 100% of the profits go back into creating this content for free. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed and productive day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.